Hey guys, Space Pigu here, and today I'm going to be doing another Pro Marker thing. It feels like it's been a little while, but I guess I did um kind of a three marker thing last time, so I guess it's not been a while, but I don't know. Feels like I haven't used my Pro Mark as much. Anyway, uh, you can't really see the outline. Actually, you might be able to. I'm using a very low quality version <laughs> to try and um, do this voiceover, so... Who knows? Anyway, um, I'm currently going around putting in shadows using Heather, which is like a lilac-y colour you can probably see reasonably well. Um, but yeah, I wanted to try and do kind of cool shadows, because I never really do that, and I wanted to see how it would turn out. So yeah, now I'm going over that with tan, and I really like the colour, but I wish it had come out a little bit darker. I should have gone over it a bit more. Like here I'm using coral to put in some pink, but I should have gone over maybe another layer with tan just to make it a bit darker because I wanted her to be more tan than she turned out. But uh, yeah, or more dark skinned I guess, I don't know. But yeah, uh, this is a sketch that you may have seen if you follow me on Twitter or maybe Instagram, yeah, which links in the description, eh, I don't know. <laughs> but um, yeah, I really liked how this turned out, so I blew it up to A4 and copied it up onto marker paper so that I could finish it. So yeah, uh, at, the mo yeah at the moment I'm just using tan all over to do the skin. There I started in the wrong colour, I picked up coral instead of tan, which was kind of dumb. But uh, it kind of works. She looks like she's a bit of a fighter, so I guess it could be a bruise. <laughs> uh, I think there I'm using cinnamon just to add a little bit more shadow, but for most of it I do just use tan to kind of darken up areas, which, you know, it works. Again, I wish I'd gone through and darkened it more, but rather than just making more shadows, that is. But yeah, I think I need to work on highlights in the skin more as well. I haven't got a huge amount of colours, so... Or a huge amount of tones, like skin tones, so it's kind of difficult, but, you know. Uh, there I am using vanilla to do the uh, gold accent parts, I guess. Um, I also use sunflower for the darker bits. And now I am using Auburn. And I just missed out that little bit of skin there. But yeah. Uh, I remember to keep the white highlights in the higher part of the hair. And I forget for the rest of it. But it's kind of okay because the light would be hitting right up at the top. I think from where I put shadows and stuff. So it kind of works out. Uh, it would have been nice to remember. But yeah, you know. I kind of made the shadows a bit more prominent with like the rest of the shading I guess um, to try and you know make it all stand out a little bit more. I believe there I'm using saddle brown to add a bit. Oh yeah and there's some flower yeah used to try and make it look shiny. <laughs> I don't know how well that works out. I'm not used to rendering shiny stuff. But yeah now I'm definitely using saddle brown <laughs> to make it all a bit darker and as you can see I'm like I'm trying to make it look a little more dynamic so it doesn't matter too much that I missed out the white everywhere else. I really need to work on that. <laughs> but yeah just going through rendering hair. I really like hair. I feel like I can get quite carried away when I'm inking and I did only do the outlines for this in pencil. Um, my color race pencils. But, uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> There's not really too much to say, I guess. I know I say that a lot, but yeah. Um, yeah, just going through. And here I take Burnt Sienna and just darken up some of the bits a little bit more. Go over them with Saddle Brown to blend them a little bit. Because I do need to work on blending a lot. But, uh, yeah. It all turned out pretty good, I think. I I really like how the hair turned out. Again, though, I feel like just the whole thing should have been a bit darker. It's a shame that it wasn't. 
Uh, there I'm using silver lining to do the knife blade. Um, and then sunflower again to do like a gold handle for it. Which looks kind of cool, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. I quite like it. But uh, yeah. Uh, for the trousers, I start out using pale citrus and lime green. But I kind of more end up using lime green and pear green. Which, yeah, you can see it down there. I got it out because I meant to do just darker shadows. But I kind of went over everything. <laughs> Uh, which you'll see soon. So yeah, here I'm blending pale citrus and lime green, trying to get them to blend. And it's not easy because the brush markers, they behave kind of different to the to the pro markers. Uh, they're kind of different to use. I don't know, maybe that's just me, but yeah. Um, I do try to keep shadows in at this point, even though eh, it could go better, honestly. <laughs> I wasn't too happy with this, so I was happy to make it darker. And honestly, I think since the kind of concept was assassin, the whole thing should have maybe been darker, but going off the edge there, that's my bad. <laughs> but um, I kind of, I, I liked the colour scheme, so I kind of just went with it. <laughs> Yeah, there I'm going over the pale citrus and lime green, and the lime green and pear green. Because, yeah. <laughs> it also helped because the colours came out kind of streaky, and I feel like going over it, it became a little less streaky. It was still pretty streaky, but I don't know. I feel like it, it blended it all a little bit more. But, uh, yeah. So yeah, I'm just going over everything making it all a little bit darker. It's all pretty good. I have some like light parts on the leg there that I eventually kind of go over. I don't know how much they go away actually, but uh, yeah, just layering everything up, making it a bit darker, making it a bit smoother, as much as I can anyway. <laughs> um, yeah, that's going over the top as well, making sure it all matches. And now I start outlining the whole thing. Uh, so yeah, I just use color erase pencils. Uh, I can't remember exactly which colors. I think I use, um, I want to say bright scarlet to add like some pink to her skin and lips, and just a brown one. It might just be called brown. Uh, and I also use a black pencil because, yeah, um, the hair, yeah, the hair was kind of dark and it made a bit more sense to outline it in black because the brown was pretty much the same shade and wouldn't have been an outline as much as just, well, not much really. <laughs> I don't know, I'm not sure how to put it, but um, yeah. So yeah, just, just outlining, really. Um, there's not too much to say. Again, I say that a lot, but, uh, but yeah, just going over everything, trying to make the sections of hair stand out a bit more, I guess. Um, making the eyes stand out a little more. I do really like how this turned out, actually. I should say that now <laughs> before I start getting all weird and whatever. But um, no, I really like how this turned out. Like I said, I really loved how the sketch came out. I love the hand. It just, it turned out so much better than hands usually turn out. And it looks almost like it might have perspective to it which is kind of fun. So yeah, that's that's why I decided to do a full illustration piece. Um, again, I'm not 100% happy with everything about it, but you know, you never really can be. <laughs> anyway, we're coming up to the end of the video now, so um, if you liked, please hit like, maybe comment, subscribe, whatever you want to do, <laughs> and um, yeah, thank you very very much for watching, and goodbye!